Ooh. Leave Nano put all out. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Little recap, just uh, getting warm at the moment. It was cold out there tonight. Had some interesting phone calls as well since I've got back. Hi Nat, how's things? So just about re-warming up <laughs> to tell you the truth. Again, interesting at the uh, train station, the abandoned train station from 1866. Uh, had amazing capture from that as well uh, on a screenshot. Uh, with an energy to the left hand side I've put that up on the page so have a little look at that so you're right now how's things hey shell i hope you like the uh, video i sent you today <laughs> darling i hope it didn't scare you too much oh. Oh, did you get kicked off, Thomas? What happened there? Did you just lose the uh, signal? I think when I was in the village, uh, there was a couple of buildings there that I was drawn to. I think with the lady at the station, where people were giving that she had stomach problems, I think it was Jennifer, and uh, was it Claire? I was drawn to two houses. One of them was a doctor's house, obviously. But when I was at the station, she was saying, I'll take you to where I'm going. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> no comment, Shell. <laughs> Petrified Shell with a, a little video I sent her today. So, hello, Joanne. So, some great stuff captured there. I put it on the page. Have a little look at the pictures as well. Uh, and I'll send you the photographs of I've just blown them up myself for what people have sent me as well so again it was a perfect night for getting out there nice and still which was great ah that alleyway again park gate that uh, I've actually there's there is a picture there it looks like there's a, an image right in the middle of it but it looks quite low down but there looks like two energies there's an energy above it and it looks like an energy as well in the alleyway. So have a little look at the pictures I've sent over. When I upload them on the page, I'll send over what people have sent me. I'll just blow them up and play around and just have a little look around them because that, that, that's all I've done. And then obviously you can see the uh, lady from the station, I feel. She stands out a lot as well. Oh, excuse me. So it was just a nice little recap. Again, it's, I think it's four and a half miles from the station to, to Parkgate, and then it's obviously an old abandoned line all the way through. And uh, that went down to Hooton, went all the way to Parkgate. Uh, I think Thomas said it closed in the 60s and 70s, but it was a great little find as well. I did get stopped on my way there. I did actually get, uh, there was a policeman pulled, when I pulled up, there was a police car pulled up where I pulled up. <laughs> so I had to explain what I was doing, which was a bit weird. <laughs> so, hiya Kim, hope you're all right, darling. So just getting warm again now, but it was a nice two or three little hours out that, getting out and about. And the gentleman that I was walking, at Park Gate with, I could feel his thick moustache, the gentleman that was over my shoulder right behind me. Plus you lost every screenshot. Yeah, definitely, definitely tuning in there, Thomas. Again, I was surprised there wasn't more by that, uh, the signalling box, I could, uh, I will go back there, I'll take some more equipment there, and, uh, set some more equipment up on that station box because I definitely could feel a couple of gentlemen there as well and on the signal and box and I got pushed as well 
<laughs> Karma for sending the video. <laughs> oh, shall you crack me up? <laughs> Right. And somebody's just sent me up more inboxes as well. No, it didn't give the, the, the policeman a reading. It was a good job I had my coat on and all that because I had the bag so it looked like it was uh, all in black. It looked like it was off to break into the place to be honest with you. Hi Nicola, if you have a little look, there's two videos I've done tonight, just gone out raw, investigate now it is, uh, I do take very little equipment, uh, I ask the public to screenshot what they see as we're walking around, I'll give what I'm linking into, bearing in mind tonight was a really really cold night, so when you are outside, it is harder to link in in a way of you've got a lot more layers on, so your sensitivity is... Uh, wrapped up a little bit with your, your energies as well uh, than being indoors when you're indoors in a nice location it's it's it, it's an easier environment to work in so again it's raw so get out there and screenshot it and take a few little trigger objects and just see if we can get some information that way but again pick up on what we're picking up on and there is a, quite a few mediums and sensitives that what's the uh, the live feeds and that which is always good and the newcomers as well right okay shell <laughs> it's not the little girl that was lost is it from park gate by any chance just yes or no and it's quite hazy in here as well which doesn't usually it's not usually the case Okay, was that an illness to, to fight off from Victorian days? Is that the illness, the posse? Is that the the bunch of herbs that they believed of carrying? Nice to see you were linking in as well, Shell. Excellent, love it Kim. Told you you'd see soon, didn't I? Alright, okay, so she was there was a lady screaming at Park Gate. Hi Lottie and uh a very high pitched lady. Lovely warm energy. It's warming up in here now, it's much needed. Hiya Wend, long time no see, bar the other day, hope you're alright, after all come round and have a brew, catch you up, thanks Shell, yeah so just a little recap, went round the old abandoned train station in between Hooton and Parkgate, had a little walk around there and uh, that was very interesting, it's about four and a half mile from one end to the other. Oh, I'll draw the little girl, that's brilliant Lottie, that's fantastic and that's what I enjoy uh, is getting the, the, the visual sight of it as well. Have a little look at the uh, the pictures that have circled on, on the page, uh, especially down at Park Gate. There might be the odd one that might look like a little light reflection and I've not put them up because I wasn't too sure whether it was a little bit of light reflection from obviously a lot of white buildings down there and the street light so I didn't put them on excellent Thomas so again uh, it, just getting out and about there as well but definitely felt a big push and a big shove when I was down by that train station and down the train train track walking out towards park gate uh, that was interesting as i was walking back towards the station it was definitely walking behind me and uh, hit stuff in the in the sidings to where it was in the field but it was definitely being followed there i was being followed at park gate as well and there's a few quite 
quite interesting characters that were coming through there as well. So, right, uh, thanks for drawing them, Lottie. It's much appreciated. Uh, the gentleman I had with the very thick moustache as well, I uh, could feel him walking behind me, but he, he walked with his feet at like 10 to 2. It was really different pose with my feet as well. Yeah, they're on the pull, they're on the... Uh, on this page so when I've logged off here you can have a little look on it so there's two videos I've done tonight uh, I think one was about an hour and the other one was about an hour as well the fella in the signal box at station was watching you to see what you was all mm. about yeah and the and there, there was a few weird noises there but I, I de did debunk a lot there at the station because there is a farm to the right hand side of that Hmm. Oh, you WhatsApp me tomorrow. You're not sending me back that video, are you, Shell? <laughs> A scary video I sent you. Hi, Alison. Just doing a little recap on Parkgate tonight. A little walk around there and the old abandoned station from 1866 which I thought was very interesting so again have a little look at the pictures and especially where I was stood by that doorway where I could feel that lady uh, she was definitely uh, very one of the strongest energies there but to me she was taking me back into the village to show me where uh, as people said that she'd had an abortion but I feel I was drawn to the either a doctor's place uh, again with the one of the two buildings one opposite the churchyard was one was around that tree that tree was quite significant in the middle of the village oh I shall <laughs> Excellent, Al. Hi, Debbie. How do you do this? Uh, in what it is, I, I just, as a medium, I pick up sense a lot of spirits in and around me, and a lot of the time I get drawn to go in places where spirits are itching for you to go along and have a little look and have a little walk around, so um, they try and come forward and communicate with me. I do pick up on a lot. Uh, but I try not to give stuff away when I'm out and about on a walk uh, and I see if people on the other side of the film and the camera pick up on the same things that I'm picking up on and when that happens as well they'll be linking in with me and as soon as Thomas started linking in um, and a few other people started picking in as well that's when I'll start opening up and giving a bit more information then so it clarifies what I'm picking up as a medium and being received from spirit and communicating through me uh, then I will relay it back that way because I know then people are on the same wavelength right okay we'll see what happens with that maybe as well that's why I was drawn there as well Shelley was to uh, help trap spirits as well so that's what I always do is a bit of rescuing as well so that's some light work that I do and I, I do do a lot of rescues but walking through that from the train station to Williston there, there was a, that building there from the 1600s I was I was really really drawn to that as well but definitely there was a, a bully following me there as well yeah usually do readings on a different night Debbie so all I've done is I've worked openly tonight for since about six o'clock so I'm just unwinding now so Again, I do live feeds, I do live videos, but I do live investigations up and down the UK. And then on another night, I'll have a couple of days rest and then I'll do readings. So uh, I am off this week. Uh, I've got a couple of busy nights, Monday, Tuesday. I've got stuff to do Thursday. Uh, I will be doing a live pop-up as through the week, here, there and everywhere. Yeah, don't mind that, Thomas. You're more than welcome. As again, it's just off the cuff I'm sat here and I'm not a big telly fan to be honest with you 
Um, so when I'm itching to go out, I just get out and about as well. So I will do some readings another night. I'll get some cards out as well. Right, any questions before we go? Yeah, everyone's, I do a lot of development classes as well, Debbie, so I help people that's quite sensitive and how to open up and how to start receiving from spirit. Um, I help them understand that and I can open up a lot of people to tune in. Uh, and again, that helps them. It all comes with uh, just learning how to open and close properly, basically. But uh, spirits, I work with your team as well and I work with what they're after as well for you. So it can certainly help with a lot of development with people at all levels. I work with the full range of levels of people what level they're on that I can just help and deal with them as well so from very beginners to really uh, people that's been doing it for a long time as well uh, yes Jennifer uh, I think the little girl that was lost I think she's here uh, I'm just trying to think as well I think the bully from the uh, the bully from Williston Village, I think more outside, out the road, as well as that fellow with the, the very thick moustache as well, I think he's outside. Uh... Yeah, cheers Paul, and that's how it works, so I ask people, I bring them in, and just say screenshot the pictures as I'm walking around and then we can have a little look back and recapture because there's a lot of things that we don't capture when we're actually on the event or we're walking around when we come back you can analyze it you can have a little look through I did do an EVP I don't get a lot of time to go through a lot of that but I'll see what I can pick up uh, also I had the phone call tonight uh, about something that was possibly captured in a window from when we went down to Grimsby so I'll have a little look at that you see that's where part of it comes in straight away Debbie is uh, you have no trust yeah you've got to trust spirits got to trust it I can do but as I say I'm on the wind down now so I'm not opening up as much now so <laughs> when you've been working for three odd hours with spirit it does get tiring as well so I'm just on the wind down now so there is an envelope on the way for you as well just to let you know Nasheen there's an envelope on its way for you and that's what they're telling me Okay, and that's how that's just how it happens. That's just popped in as well. All right, so I don't know whether you're waiting a new contract. <laughs> just done that for you, darling. Right, I'm going to sign off. Uh, again, have a little look at the pictures. I'll put all the pictures that they come to me from the messenger, mm -hmm. and I'll send them over to you. All right, and Lottie's just sent me a photograph as well as the little girl. Lottie, thanks for taking time out to do the pictures. Uh, my team, I'd like my team to thank them. And basically, if I could develop on that way, that'd be great. So there's areas that I, I'm still learning and trying to develop as well. But it's all about being in the right place at the right time. Uh, a white dress, she said. And I missed the shoes. Yes, uh, no. All right, Paul, cheers for tuning in. Yeah, what I'll do is, I am off this week, so I will do some readings for you folks. All right. So I'll catch you later. Night-night.